University College of the Gold Coast linked to the University of London, which was affiliate. But immediately after independence, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah revised that charter, that ordinance, and made it University of Ghana, giving it a fully fledged university without any affiliate, giving its degrees and other uh, certificate. It has a student population of over 30,000, uh, both residential and non-residential, or what we call long distance education. So they offer all that. It is the premier university and the university of choice in Ghana. It's situated on a hill called Legon Hill. Now in the morning I was explaining the word Legon and I was saying that according to Ga tradition or La tradition it is believed that when this place was bushy or was forest area there was this antelope kind of small antelope that would be roaming the hills here and the people see it they say lay so he said they said oh we are going to the antelope here lay gone now in the gun word they don't have e the english e they have turn it this way ah so it's lay but it is also that's the University of Ghana uh, sports stadium. Is it ever going to be finished? It's been there for like sure. been like that for like ten years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's the University of Ghana uh, sports stadium. We are entering from the pub first from the eastern gate of the university. Now we are not using the. This is not the main entrance. The main entrance to the university you see with their logos and everything. But the university decided to be charging entrance yeah, or toll. And for raising their for raising money to rehabilitate their roads and others. Because the university surround other communities. So communities use the university as a transit. And therefore since the public decide not to pay the toll, they decide, okay, if you want to use the main gate and the other gates, then you have to come for a sticker from the administration. So that is, it also have one of the best research institutes in West Africa, known as the Noguchi Memorial. George Bennett Circle is one of the former vice chancellors of the university. The government of Ghana have over 10 public universities. We have one in Accra, that is the University of Ghana. We have the Accra Technical University. We have the Cape Coast University, which uh, is in the central region. We have the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. We have University of Development Studies in uh, the northern part of the country. Then we have UMAT, University of Mines, in the western and western north region. And we have the University of Health and Allied Science in Ho, which is called UAS, is new. Then we have the University of Environment in the Bono and Ahafo regions. Most of the intersections are named after the former vice chancellors. So this to my left and to your right, those are ho uh, residences for the students. And some of the students uh, or some of the halls are named after. So all this, as you can see, they are having their soccer game and the soccer is the heartbeat of Ghana. So whatever small space the Ghanaian boys find, they will play their soccer there. But the university also have a very unique institute purely for African 
status. That's the university, and that is one of the flagship of the university, which was which was established by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah to educate students purely on African status. So he has all the faculties that university can talk about. So that's the main entrance. That is the university's main entrance. But unfortunately, you can only use the local runs. You can only use that when you have the sticker. So to my left and to your right, that's the Kwame Nkrumah uh, Complex Institute of African Studies, University of Ghana. There. And then Kwame Nkrumah also wanted to educate people on our dance values and culture so we have the school uh, we have the school of performing arts solely for drumming and dancing so that's the history of african studies the first It's a very competitive university. And so, this is unlike the junior and senior high schools, you pay fees at the university. So that was the school faculty of law. And when you are out of, when you do your first degree, in Ghana, you are not recognized as a fully fledged lawyer. You'll not be called to the bar unless you go to the Ghana Law School in Makola or in Accra. After that, then you'll be called to the bar. No time again. I can say a quote. Sure. Let me say sorry. Question. Yes. Do you think they're ever going to get rid of you? And they're ever going to get rid of those wigs, or it's embedded in it? Deals made long time ago. Uh, I am afraid. It's there for life. It's not going to be. And I heard the average one is about, wait, what, 20000 Hey, Smith, yeah. about 15000 $20,000. Yes. And, and, and. The stupidest all around. The Chief Justice. Yes. Just ret the one who just retired, and they can even come out with a fear that if you don't wear, mm -hmm. you cannot come to the courts. Mm -hmm. So they the still British don't wear them. It's crazy. So they still wear. <laughs> it's like they made a commandment. You have to you do something. Huh. Huh. You don't know where one day we're gonna get all those wigs and we won't set them on fire. I know that's right. <laughs> So it's basically Ghana and Nigeria with their foolishness, I think. Now, the setting of the university is also very interesting because the colonial government wanted to set up the university, wanted to combine Ghana, Nigeria, and Sierra Leone. And how do you compare Nigeria as big as that mm -hmm. and Ghana and then Sierra Leone yeah. to put up one university? So the leaders at the time uh, decided no, we will not agree to that recommendation and therefore we will like to top up with 
the money the colonial government want to establish the university with and have Ghana's own and then you can do whatever with Nigeria and all that. So they convinced the cocoa farmers and the market women and the Asante Hene at the time. Who was that at the time? Uh, yeah, of course, not the Who was the Asante Hene at the time? Uh, that was, I think, that if not, uh, no, 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 before Pokwa. Okay. Pokwa was recent. Yeah, that's and I then, I think that was uh, Prempe or any oh, of the, the yes. Okay. Yes, but not very, forgot the exact oh, Asante Hene okay. on the throne. Mm -hmm. So, he came up and then they top up with the colonial government money and set up the invest solely for Ghana. And that is the reason why Kwame Nkrumah, when he took over, the second university was put up in Kumasi. Yeah. That is the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, which was solely built as a university for science, to drive the science and technology of the country. But unfortunately, the Kwame Nkrumah University has yeah, the yeah, name. Oh, on Yanko Street. Uh, has the name, but it has all the faculty. It is producing more humanities mm -hmm. than science mm -hmm. students. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you said admission is competitive. Do they test? Uh, uh, no, it comes with. Um, that's the Biome Library. That's the one of the big um, collection. That's the library of the university with the Japanese uh, uh, building design. Well, it's competitive in a sense that if you finish your senior high school, you need to really, really qualify. You need to get your score no less than. 20 or 22. If you get more than that, you will not get admission into the university. You need to really, really, really get your score to be able to be admitted because the university's population is more, the student population is more than what the universities in Ghana can take. And thanks to the 1992 constitution, give back to the National Accreditation Board, where it gives private universities. So we have also a lot of private universities, but you cannot, taking the economic situation in Ghana, you cannot, parents will choose a government university than taking their child to the the uh, private university to like the they public university rights uh, uh, so you you cannot so it is that is the reason why it's more competitive but we have some very good private universities like the central university which is for the church of um, International Central Gospel Church. We set up the Central University. Then we have the Methodist University. We have Presbyterian University. We have quite a number of them uh, put up now. So, well, but nobody right, okay. would love to the administration or the administration. David. So that's the administration. This is the administration of the university. Now, the various halls in the campus, like a craft hall, great hall, and all those halls, but the famous hall is the Commonwealth Hall. Now, when any agitation will start, it is the Vanda House who leads the agitation. So once a vandal, always a vandal. Uh, and that is the, uh, not the fantasy. Okay, yeah, well. Now, the, these are the residences of the lecturers. 
So the lecturers and the uh, leave on the campus and the and their families and yeah and others leave on campus depend on your position you can get then if you don't have a bungalow right uh, you are given allowance or rent allowance as is said Is there an interest in making it a truly uh, national university by making sure that candidates from all over the country get to the university? Are there efforts to make sure that all segments of the nation get to come to the university? Yes. That's yes. Yes. Is 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 a, a public university? <laughs> all the but everybody when you are qualified, you the admission is open to everybody. It's a, you choose either University of Ghana, you choose Cape Coast, University of Cape Coast, or Kwame Nkrumah. It's open all to everybody. So it depends on your exam scores. Yeah. And also the course that you want to take. Yeah, the pen. So that is the Legon Hall to my to your left. Yeah. Well, this campus expect to do a lot of walking. There's no shuttle at this one. Yeah, one it's, of them has a shuttle, I think. Yes, uh, all, all of them. Okay, all okay. of them. Yes. Yes. But the, 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 yes. Uh, okay. It's a very large, yes, large, 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 large. That is the university guest house. Oh, okay, class. Okay. That's the university guest house. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up for us. That's for us, yeah. So how okay, how does that work? Now the guest house. How the guest house is open to the public and so you call, you make your reserve. Oh, so you or can you come can stay walk a in yes. weekend, a week, yes. like twenty four. Okay. Yes. You can walk in or you can make a reservation oh. and then you are uh, if you want to stay within the university community. Yeah, because we can come and visit Ocean Central. Yeah. So these are our residents of the lecturers. Yeah, because here we can come and, you know, visit and stuff. Yeah, check out the same. Because that's up in our land. Okay. They had an international house. Yes. From yes, yes. It's open to students from the US, from Mexico, Canada, yeah, all gonna... over, come in to study at the University of Ghana. And not only University of Ghana, but Kwame Nkrumah University, because right. all the universities, all the universities have affiliates. So they have program, exchange programs that you can uh, take. And I know like the Savannah State University. That's my school. Oh, okay. Me and That's my school. Uh, as they are used to uh, handle their students when they come, uh, especially the, uh, this, oh, what was the name? You knew the last president? Because she's going. Yes. That's my sorority. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She's and in then, Atlanta. Yes. Uh, Dr. Nyanize, you know Dr. Nyanize, she, he's um, in charge of the international programs yeah, now. They were not there when I was there. Oh, okay. But like, some of the other ones, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, um, because anybody you was affiliated to the University. So they come and spend about one month. Yes. So we do University of Ghana, Kwame Nkrumah, then we go to the northern part mm -hmm. of the country, stay, and then Cape Coast. Yeah, when that other um, um, president was, because she brought it was a delegation, I think it was 30, 40 something. Yes. Yeah, Bernie Wilson, all yeah. of them I know, yeah, they all came. Yeah. yeah. I loved it. Which way?
I'm just going to be a vice chancellor on an If I introduce the vice chancellor, Matu, Matu, so maybe, and I am, and I am, so maybe. Well, subjects, we have uh, medicine, we have uh, law, and then. I'm sorry, maybe. Is that about cool? Medicine, law, business, and agriculture. Where are the experimental farms? Oh, the, yes, we have the University of Ghana farms about 30 minutes drive from here on the Akosombo Road. We have the University of Ghana farms there that they do their farming and their research stations are scattered at some point. Yeah, so they are. That's the vice chancellor's residence. No, we can go through. Okay, I'm going to come with you. We are on my uncle. I'm going to come with you. So that's the residence of the vice chancellor. For primary or IMP. Just recently, the university should be on vacation. What is he doing? He's exercising. Oh, <laughs> that's what he's doing. He's yeah, I thought we needed to call somebody to... Solemn down. Right. <laughs> the, the, uh, the university is supposed to be on holidays, but due to the strike of the lecturers who have strived for almost three to four months, fighting for condition of service, because they're saying they are not being paid well compared to other lecturers elsewhere. So they need a competitive pay. That sounds for me. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. <laughs> it does. Now, in most nations, uh, there's a fear that if there's going to be trouble or criticism, it, it generates from the youth and the universities. How is that managed? Do they make sure that the students stay in line because yeah. they can get outdated? Yeah, it used to be. <laughs> it used to be like that, but it's not us now. It used to be like that, but now we shall we overcome. It used to be led. Uh, most agitations used to be led by the student representative councils and others, or the student union right. associations. But now the politicians have been able to infiltrate right. through the student associations, and therefore they are not able to 
push or organized like it used to be in those days? Yes. Yes. Today, it's absorbed them. They, they make deals with them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That sounds familiar too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's right. Any organization, that's what you do. So this is the university primary. For basically, it was constructed for the workers and the lecturers, student, uh, uh, children. 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 Yeah. But okay. it's open now to the general public. Any parent who wants his work can come to or bring his kids to the university private school, primary school. Is there a fee? Yes. <laughs> there we go. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because so, if anybody could come, that's right. You're putting something out. It's coming pretty soon. To my right and to your left are the graduate uh, halls. Okay. And the university is okay. trying as much as possible to uh, build more uh, residences. Uh, oh, we are uh, Main Road. Uh, Main Road. Okay. Echo Market, where Echo Market? Yeah, where? Just now in the side. Uh, okay. Hostels normally you have like four people could be six depending on the hostel. Oh. Suppose <laughs> you have no, because no, I know when you get yeah. say you get a couple, somebody happens to be married. Okay. Then what happens we have that? student landlords yeah, yeah. and student landladies mm -hmm. yeah. because what we have here is what we call in 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 out out out. <laughs> so when you are in, you get admission and you get a ho uh, a hostel when you are in level one hundred. Okay. Now when you get to two hundred, then you are out. Then another by e in. Right. So if you don't have, you get people to patch with, mm -hmm. and then you pay. Mm -hmm. You so you become your landlord or your landlady. Mm -hmm. So you have in there about three or four, five uh, uh, yeah. students in one um, right. room. But uh, there are also private hostels yeah. around which the university have released their. Uh, when the university have leased the land okay. for them to build hostels like business mm -hmm. so they get money from the uh, builders to put up those hostels to rent for students and then they share the profit Okay, so again, if, uh, if a couple come and they're students and they're yeah. married, yeah. okay, will they be in a hostel or it's a different type of building for them, atmosphere, if they come in a couple and they're married? Um, Just curious about that. <laughs> for couples, I've not uh, oh, okay. heard a couples coming in, but I think that if couples want to be in the what they desire is to get a private hostel. Oh, okay. Yes, to stay together mm -hmm. and no one to disturb them. Mm -hmm. so exactly. They, yeah, cause yeah, even yeah. in my school, they had built a PR building. Yeah. And if you were a graduate student yeah. or you were married, you had a separate thing than the regular. Um, you know, and I think this is going to be done in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been started in the last uh, over 15 years now. Mm. And I think that now they are giving it some life. Well, some of the things you see about government uh, uh, buildings in Ghana is that when the, that government don't buy into that vision mm -hmm. of the previous administration, mm -hmm. It to be abandoned. Yeah. Yes, Sammy. So that is our Isagan University true. tour, Legon University tour. So we are getting back onto the main road, and the community directly opposite the university is East Legon. Uh, now, Okonglo and East Legon is joined together. And but this community is supposed to be Okonglo. Yeah. Um, no, it's okay. no, it's Ga. Yeah, Okong, you know, they're going here. Right, right. 
glow uh okonglo uh -huh. okay, so like this is yeah yes yeah, this is different okonglo and then legon yeah okonglo yeah because when you listen 